The best graphics cards are the beating heart of any gaming PC, and everything else comes second. Without a powerful GPU pushing pixels, even the fastest CPU won't manage much. This means that finding the right GPU for you doesn't have to cost too much, especially as we're right on the verge of the successor lines from both companies which should release towards the end of the year. So in this video, we will discuss top 7 best graphics cards. Let's start. Number 7. NVIDIA RTX 3060 TAE. The RTX 3060 TAE offers performance, which was previously thought impossible from an entry-level graphics card only three years ago. Now, 4K isn't really going to be the RTX 3060 strong suit. While achieving Ultra HD visuals is possible, it's geared more towards higher frame rates in 1440p and steamrolling through full HD games, pushed to their absolute limit. Again, that's not to say that the GPU can't benefit from Ultra HD, especially with the benefits of DLSS, but it's not a card built with it this resolution in mind. If you can find the RTX 3060 Ti for a fair price online, then it's going to be ideal for the vast majority of PC gamers if you can put aside a consistent 4K average in favor of more general gaming performance in lower resolutions. Number 6. MSI Gaming Radeon RX 6800 AMD's Radeon RX 6800 XT clears a niche for itself in the market of recently released graphic cards. It's more affordable than NVIDIA's RTX 3080, and it's only a bit more expensive than the non-XT RX 6800 while increasing the number of compute units and clock speeds. The 16 gigabytes of memory is unmatched by most competitors. All of this makes it an especially potent choice for anyone that's optimizing for value. The RX 6800 XT can hold its own against the RTX 3080 in a lot of cases, with exceptional performance at 1080p and 1440p, plus decent chops in 4K. It may not have much to offer when it comes to ray tracing, but that's still not a widely implemented feature in games, and the RX 6800 XT may yet regain some ground when AMD eventually launches its Fidelity FX Super Resolution feature. So, if you're not overly concerned about uncertain performance in ray tracing, the Radeon RX 6800 offers a compelling alternative to NVIDIA's RT X 3080 while costing less and drawing less power from your wall. Number 5. Radeon RX 6700 XT Start with the Navi 21 GPU, and then cut down the various functional units to create a smaller die that can sell at lower prices, and you have AMD's Navi 22 and the RX 6700 XT. The RX 6750 XT is basically the same GPU, with a slight boost to clock speeds, memory speeds, and power consumption. About 5% faster overall, but with a 12% price hike. Give some thought to the RX 6710GB as well, which offers less performance but also costs less. The 6700 XT has the same number of GPU cores as the previous generation RX 5700 XT, but significantly higher clock speeds and more catch. Give it about a 25% boost to performance, at higher settings and resolutions at least. During testing, the RX 6700 XT hit clock speeds in excess of 2.5 GHz while gaming, and that's at stock on the reference card. Factory overclocked models can push that closer to 2.7 GHz, still without cooking the GPU. Number 4. NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. For as powerful as the RTX 3080 Ti is, especially given its upgrade to 12GB video RAM, as opposed to the original model's 10GB, that boost in power comes at a steep price of an additional $500 above the stock RTX 3080. We're essentially seeing a noticeable improvement on the stock RTX 3080, but that power difference comes into its own when looking at games such as Cyberpunk 2077, which, at the time of writing, cannot yet hit native 4K60 on anything right now. Make no mistake, you're getting an incredibly capable and future-proofed GPU, 
that's going to be able to burn through the vast majority of demanding games in 1440p and 4K, with no compromises for many years to come. Number 3. AMD Radeon RX 6600 The RX 6600 XT is built first and foremost with being one of the best graphics cards for PC gamers, aiming for fast frame rates in 1080p. It's been geared in the marketing, primarily towards the esports crowd, as the competitive games in the circuit may not be too visually demanding, but require super high FPS to compensate. If you're thinking of picking this GPU up for 1440p performance, then you may need to cast a wider net in the field of AMD. AMD published the full list online, where the GPU managed well above 70 FPS, in the likes of Far Cry 6, Hitman 3, Resident Evil Village, Defloop, and more. Number 2. Intel A770 Limited Edition The feature set with the A770 Limited Edition also impresses, a full 16GB, running on a 256-bit memory interface. That's double the AMD competition, and 33% more than the RTX 3060. Intel also doesn't make any apologies for its ray tracing performance, going blow for blow with the 3060 and coming out on top. Intel was also the first company to deliver hardware-accelerated AV1 encoding and decoding support, and QuickSync continues to deliver an excellent blend of encoding performance and quality. There's also XESS, basically, a direct competitor to NVIDIA's DLSS, except it uses ARC's matrix cores when present and can even fall back into DP4 mode for non-ARC GPUs. But DLSS2 still comes out on top, and it's in far more games. Number 1. GeForce RTX 4090 There's nothing subtle about NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card. It's a hulking great lump of a pixel pusher, and while there are some extra curves added to what could otherwise look like a respin of the RTX 3090 shroud, it still has that novelty graphics card aesthetic. This is a vast GPU that packs in 170% more transistors than even the impossibly chonk GA102 chip that powered the RTX 3090 Ti. And for the most part, it makes the previous flagship card of the Ampere generation look well off the pace. That's even before you get into the equal mix of majesty and black magic that lies behind the new DALSS 3.0 revision designed purely for ADA. Look, it's quick, okay. With everything turned on, with DLSS 3 and frame generation working its magic, the RTX 4090 is monumentally faster than the RTX 3090 that came before it. The straight 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme score is twice that of the big Ampere core. And before ray tracing or DLSS come into it, the raw silicon offers twice the 4K frame rate in Cyberpunk 2077. In itself, however, the RTX 4090 is an excellent graphics card and will satisfy the performance cravings of every person who could ever countenance spending $1,600 on a new GPU. That's whether they're inconceivably well-heeled gamers or content creators not willing to go all-in on a quadro card. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications.